A recent study found that the auto parts sector holds the dubious distinction of having the highest return rate of any retail category, with nearly one in four auto parts returned. If you've been working in the automotive aftermarket for a while, this probably comes as no surprise. Most counter pros look at returns as just a fact of life in the aftermarket. Still, returns can be costly. When a part is returned, it sets in motion a number of expenses, including manually processing credits, reverse logistics and transportation, repackaging products, and additional quality control testing to rule out major defects in materials. So are returns simply a fact of life in the auto parts business, or are there steps that counter professionals can take to keep them at a minimum? Of course, good communication, listening to your customers, and taking the time to fully understand their needs are fundamental elements of customer service that go a long way toward reducing returns of incorrect or unsatisfactory products. Be sure to use the customer's VIN to help identify the right part in your electronic catalog, and remember that the manufacturer's online catalog is another great source of information to aid you in your parts search. Manufacturers follow the ACES and PI standards to ensure that they're providing accurate vehicle fitment data, application details, and images to give counterpros the information they need to recommend the right part for the job. That said, let's delve a bit deeper into a category that typically experiences one of the highest return rates in the aftermarket, ride control. In a previous video, we talked about taking a four-corner approach to selling shocks and struts, and how this applies to mixing brands. If a customer puts a complete strut assembly from brand A on the front of the vehicle and shocks from brand B on the rear, they might not be satisfied with the ride because various brands are known for having distinct ride characteristics. Some brands of shocks and struts might have a stiffer ride, while others might have a softer ride. But there's more to it than that. When you're recommending shocks and struts, quality matters. And not just quality, but OE quality. That's because the OEMs design each vehicle model to have very specific ride and handling characteristics. The automakers put a tremendous amount of thought and engineering work into the performance calibration of OE shocks and struts for each vehicle model and trim level. If a replacement ride control product isn't designed to restore the vehicle to its original ride and handling capabilities, motorists can feel the difference and they could be less safe because any body or suspension movement beyond the vehicle's design will increase stopping distance, reduce road traction, and delay steering response. Here's the bottom line. When you're recommending a replacement shock, strut, or strut assembly, be sure to go with a manufacturer that not only is adhering to OE specifications, but also is producing ride control products for each application not consolidating part numbers where the spring rate and other characteristics are close to the original application, but not exact. You can feel good about recommending shocks, struts, and complete strut assemblies from FCS Auto. FCS ride control products are engineered to exceed OEM quality using the latest state-of-the-art manufacturing processes. Each unit is compression and durability tested to ensure that they meet OE specifications. FCS ride control products are designed and calibrated to match the form, fit, and function for the specific vehicle application and to provide OE ride and feel. That's a winning formula for reducing returns and customer comebacks in the ride control category. Thanks for watching.